there fellow wanderers, Alicia here with Terra Drift, and have we got a rad ultralight backpack for you. This is the Gossamer Gear Gorilla 50 liter pack, and yes, it's for all you ultralighters out there. If you're new to backpacking or new to ultralight backpacking, what that means is this pack is designed for those of us who strive to carry the smallest, lightest loads possible. Straight up, this pack, just like all of Gossamer Gear's other products, are not designed with heavy loads in mind. This brand specializes in ultralight gear. So if you usually load your pack with pre-cooked rice, cans of soup, backpacking chairs. I'm talking to you, dad. This pack is not for you. Might we recommend one of the Osprey packs we've reviewed in the past? On the contrary, the Gorilla and its larger sibling, the Mariposa 60 liter, are for those of us who sit on the floor with a food scale and every piece of gear we own before each backpacking trip, weigh it all, swap, cut and weigh again just so we can get our packs to the lightest possible weight we can manage while still carrying just what we need to survive. Those of us who, if our bags weigh more than 25 pounds, uh, that's with food and water, we have a mild identity crisis about whether we can even call ourselves ultralighters. I say all this because if you are not an ultralight packer, an ultralight pack is going to be very uncomfortable as they are not designed with the sort of frames and features required to comfortably distribute heavy loads. In fact, 30 pounds is as much as Gossamer Gear recommends carrying in this pack. If you are an ultralight backpacker, however, an ultralight pack is an amazing way to cut pounds off of your load. So let's dive into the Gorilla, shall we? For starters, as the name implies, it holds 50 liters. It comes in two colors, gray and yellow, and is outfitted with a removable frame and hip belt, the latter of which can be swapped out for a smaller or larger size depending on your size. The pack itself also comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large, and the website has handy measuring instructions to help you get the size that's right for you. It features dual hydration tube exit ports, loops on both shoulder straps, two side water bottle pockets, and one huge stretchy pocket on the front of the pack, plus plenty of compression straps, tool attachment points, and even a removable back pad that doubles as a, a very handy seat pad. The pack can also be customized to some degree, which is pretty awesome. I'm talking attachable shoulder strap pockets for extra easy to reach storage, a hands-free ultralight umbrella clamp, an extra hip belt pocket, even a water bottle holder that you can attach to your shoulder strap. Like, too handy. Instead of cinching and having an extra lid on top of the pack for closing, the top folds over and clips into compression straps so you can really cinch it down. If your bag is super full, that can mean any fragile stuff in that top pocket might get a bit, well, compressed, but I just make sure to keep more durable things like first aid kits, bathroom supplies, that kind of stuff up in the top pocket. Inside, the bag can kind of seem like a black hole if you're used to a more traditional pack like an Osprey Atmos or Deuter that has additional zippered entry points on the front or bottom of the bag. But in my opinion, the absence of that stuff is well worth the weight savings. Uh, and this Mondo stretchy pocket on the front of the Gorilla? <laughs> Love it. You can stash stuff in there that needs to dry out or just gear and snacks you want easy access to. By which I mean stuff that you hand to your hiking buddies like beanies or rain jackets and say, hey, stuff this in that pocket, will ya? So, you know, you don't have to take your pack off. The side water bottle pockets are nice and big too, so there's plenty of room for any size Nalgene, plus a snack or two, or, you know, that beanie you took off. And the hip belts also feature pockets, though their shape and size will vary based on what size of hip belt you have. The straps are comfortable, and while not as fully adjustable as traditional pack straps that usually have at least two or three adjustment points, you can still tighten them at the bottom and raise and lower the chest strap, which is what's important. Pretty typical for an ultralight pack. I carried the Gorilla during some winter backpacking in Colorado this year and found it spacious and comfortable enough, loaded with everything I needed 
needed for a three day trip. But I also unloaded everything at base camp and used it for day hikes, and it was just as comfortable and functional with five pounds as it was for 25 pounds. Now, the pack itself is between 28.2 ounces for a small and 31.4 ounces for the large. That's less than two pounds. Compare that to, say, my Osprey Atmos, which weighs over four pounds. And in the world of ultralight backpacking, two pounds is kind of a big deal. It's not a budget backpack at $255, but it is absolutely comparable in price to other well-designed ultralight packs, and it's actually quite a bit cheaper than some of those packs, honestly. And since the materials seem more rugged and durable than other ultralight packs we've seen, the Gorilla should last you a good long time if you take care of it. Basically, we dig it. I mean, this pack is gonna see some serious use this season, and since it's so dang light, we couldn't be more stoked to shoulder it and hit some trails with some seriously gnarly ascents. If you'd like to start your own ultralight journey, we'll put a link to the Gorilla and the larger Mariposa in the description below. But before you go, Give this video a thumbs up if you think it was even, I don't know, moderately helpful or entertaining. And be sure to check out even more gear reviews and guides that you won't find here on YouTube over at terradrift.com. Then follow along with all of our adventures on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter, you know, to see what we've been up to and get sneak peeks at what's coming down the pipe. We're at Terradrift on all the platforms. And as always, thanks for watching. Now get out there, shoulder an ultralight pack, and wander on. For real, like, but more comfortably though. Like, you hear about people cutting toothbrushes in half and stuff to, to save weight. That's, what is that like? Grams, okay? Uh-uh. What you do is you cut pounds with the big stuff, like backpacks. Like, two pounds? This pack is two pounds lighter than the pack I've been using for years. Two pounds. That's a big deal. Look at me. I am a tiny person. I can't carry a 50 pound pack. It's just not happening. That's literally half my body weight. So now that it's like out here again and I'm looking at it, I would very much like to fill it up and uh, go backpacking again. So I think I'm gonna do that and I don't know, Guadalupe Mountains, Guadalupe Mountains, Guadalupe Mountains. Let's do it. Do some backpacking, yo.